Hello Aries. So this is your monthly reading that I have for you guys. So I also will be doing a career finance work reading. Um, I will be posting the timestamp down below in the description box and in the comment section. Um, I made it very specific so it can be more helpful. So definitely um, watch that as well too. So I'm going to start with the romance angel and the capper dag and please excuse my nails my nails looking crazy <laughs> so you can see what's going on universe give me a four card spread what's going to happen and aries love vibe for october 2021 calling in your soulmate universe can we get my cards getting to know each other release your ex okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are moving forward moving forward I see you are probably connecting with someone. I remember I did your reading last week. It was really good. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, there it is. You deserve love. And soulmate, beautiful. Jenna energy is honeymoon. Yep, it look good. So, if you guys are connecting with someone, dating, um, there's a lot of potential with this person. Okay, and I feel like you guys are moving on from the past. From an ex that did you wrong. So you see. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen? And Aries up life. So there is privileged lady. Ooh, okay, that's nice. This is someone who's going to wine and dine you. Okay. Mature man in reverse. Universe, give me two more cards. Bad health in reverse. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. For Aries. Main male. And distant horizons. Oh, wow. So I feel like you guys are going to take a lot of trips. A lot of trips. So this is someone who wants to spoil you. This is someone who want to treat you right. A lot of vacation. Okay. A lot of nice um, things that this person want to do for you. Um, this person might be younger. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so let me start with this one. So bad health in reverse and release your ex. So I feel like you're over the ex. I feel like you're over a past person who did you wrong. You're over that. Um, then it is you deserve love, soulmate, and main male. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to be dealing with somebody younger than you. That's what I'm getting. But this is someone who know how to know how to be a good partner when it comes to love. Um, then there is calling your soulmate, privileged lady. Again, they've been waiting for somebody just like you, okay? And there is, um, already did that one? No. And there is getting to know each other and mature man in reverse. So yeah, you may feel like when you connect with them, they have some tendencies where you may feel like, oh wow, this person's immature. But at the same time, they have some good part of them, okay? It's like the pros outweighs the cons, but I feel like you're gonna be noticing that, okay? Um, with Honeymoon, Distant Horizon, this could be someone from from a town that is pretty far from where you're from okay or you guys might be um you guys might be living in a distance from each other okay it's like a long distance relationship so you see what else i'm getting So let's see. Universe, give me a four card spread. There is invisible. Universe, give me three more cards. Belonging. Universe, give me two more cards. Um, confidence and loyalty. Oh, this is cute. And chaos. So I feel like this person already is claiming you. Okay. I already see that. Um, for for those who are dating but you're not completely over the eggs i feel like this is like the universe is giving you this person for you to not even think about the ex at all like i feel like you're gonna forget about this person the more that you spend time with this other person you you're going to forget about the past so let's see what else i'm getting let's look at the tarot
Okay. So, Unibrain's give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Aries Love Live for October 2021? Look at this. Nice. King of Cups, Four of Swords, Three of Wands, Reverse, and Full Universe. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like this person's already having emotions for you. You guys are probably taking your time with this person. Not taking your time, but you're you're not fully open just yet, okay? Universe, give me four more cards. What's going to happen in Aries Love Live in October? Magician. Yeah, you manifest you manifested this person, okay? This person manifested you too. Universe, give me three more cards. Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like your ex is spying on you as well. Universe, give me two more cards. Imprints in reverse. They're spying on you. They thought you was always going to wait for them. Universe, give me one more card. Hermit. Page of Pentacles. You got something new. So, mm, how can I say this? Some of you guys may feel like your ex is not over you. And you can feel like they're sending energy towards you. Some of you guys may feel that way. Um, some of you guys, they are just blatantly trying to communicate with you. Even though... They know they BS and they're just trying to waste your time, okay? Um, but I do see, like, a newer connection forming. And I feel like this person really like you. It just, like, I feel like you guys are getting to like them. But at the same time, you're not too open. And it's because you're trying to protect your heart, okay? But I feel like you manifested, like, somebody who's way much better than your ex, okay? So let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, clarify the magician. Universe, clarify the magician. Queen of Cups in reverse and a judgment, okay? Also, I feel your ex is trying to figure out ways for you to come back to them or for you to not move on. Universe, clarify page swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles and the page of wands in reverse. However, I feel like um, you guys are not going to fall for bait, okay? You're not going to fall for the bait. Universe, clarify the inference in reverse. The Ten of Cups. Look at this. Yeah. So this kind of remind me of the saying, one man trash is another um, man treasure. Okay. So this is someone who, your ex was someone who's cocky, had a lot of ego, a lot of pride. Um, they thought they was the ish, right? But, and they didn't know how to treat you. You manifested someone who know how to treat you right. Okay. And this person definitely see you as treasure, as somebody who's very valuable. Okay, but your ex is trying to figure out a way for you to like not really move on, not to move on basically. Okay, so they might send a message. That's what I'm thinking. But I feel like right now it's just like they're spying on you. Universe, clarify the hermit. Universe, clarify the hermit. Ace of Swords, High Priestess. Universe, clarify the High Priestess and Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they know that you are moving on and moving forward with someone probably better. With someone better, they know that. But at the same time, they're trying to figure out something to, like, block you from moving on. Universe, clarify the Page of Pentacles. King of Wands. Okay. Universe, clarify King of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah, see, they're going to... Yeah, so they might resurface. I'm not really getting resurfacing in this spread, but it's like they're planning to. So probably in October or November. And they're doing this just to, like, waste your time. Just so you don't move forward, okay? So just watch out for that. Um, This person could be another Aries. Um, There is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's Virgo. Okay, there's Libra. I think I mentioned Taurus as well, too. Gemini. See, let's look at the other deck. universe give me a four card spread don juan so yeah that's the card for me like someone who think they're you know they all that basically <laughs> then there's sabotager yeah this is them too okay but also they're trying to figure out a way to sabotage your newer connection okay goddess uh what is that seeker and prince and hero heron yeah, so it's like they know that you got someone better, but they're trying to, like, 
see how they can play with you, basically. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. Because they know that you have, like, a stronger tie with them than the other new person. Okay? Because that person's new. So, that's what I'm seeing. So, just watch out for that. Let's look at the island time. Universe, give me a three card spread. So there is addiction. Yeah, so they know that the connection that you guys had was strong, but they're trying to, again, this is a like emotional manipulator. Um, emotional manipulator. Because they're trying to manipulate you because they know that you guys had a bond. Heart with the key. This person really is cocky. Like, wow. Girl talk, not enough. But I feel like you guys want to move forward because this is not what you want. Okay, Cupid's arrow. I feel like you found someone way much better. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Hesitation. Then there's um, codependent obsession. Possession, controlling, has a block restraint. I definitely see that. They're definitely controlling. Um, welcoming love, meaning the one. Opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Um, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, and having fun. Um, first in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, brain, ego issues, and jealousy. Up there, doubling jealous. So let's see here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. That's the death card. I feel like, yeah, you're making the decision to move on. So even though you may have emotional and ties with this person, you're moving on. You listen to your intuition. Okay, universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Aries? Stand your ground, yep. I don't feel like you're going to let this person distract you. Okay. Yep. This person is definitely very jealous. Oh, my gosh. They're jealous because you are moving on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else I'm getting. Okay. Universe, give me a five card spread of messages you have for Aries. So, communication key is um, New Moon and Gemini. Breaking trial, breakthroughs at hand. Then there is discovering the truth. You stand in light of truth. Universe, give me two more cards. Okay. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. What do you need to release? Waiting moon and rejuvenate rain. Clear the path for the present. Yep. And choosing your path. All is possible. So you guys are moving on. Moving on. I feel like you almost at that point where you completely emotionally have checked out. Emotionally not invested at all. Like, and they feel that. Okay. They're getting jealous. And um, I feel like you're meeting with somebody who actually deserves you. Okay, so that's good. You're connecting with someone who deserves you. Let's look at the angel answers and the oracles. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for? Oh my gosh, a lot of cards. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Okay, there's compromise, unlikely, reconsider. This is them. Um, I feel like that's when they're going to reach out. Um, I feel like you are not going to accept them back. There's big happy changes, improving health, and not the right time. Jenna energy is helpful people. I feel like, again, whoever you're connecting with, the universe is um, making you connect with this person for a reason. It's like for you to really move forward, um, get out of this toxic connection, okay? Energetically as well, okay? And I feel like that's the big happy change because this person actually is treating you the way that you should be treated. Okay. This person is still not at your level of growth. Okay. So let's look at the other doc. And then I'm going to go to the career finance reading. Universe, give me a two card spread. Well, let's just you have All right Aries. Okay, so there is being with discomfort and infinite self. Again, I feel like this is someone who puts you through like hell back and forth, um, and you're done. Okay, 
my infinite self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. So again, I feel like you're connecting with somebody who does like who deserve you, who's treating you well. Being with discomfort at times of discomfort, I courageously seek my soul essence, which is clear, pure, and luminous. Okay. Jenna energy is ageless beauty. With grace, dignity, and strength, I grow into my unique texture of my feminine soul. Yeah. So when you laugh, um, or if this person left you the eggs, you gracefully let that situation go. Okay. So I'm going to do your career reading. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions um, before I go to oracles. The oracles are pretty specific. Okay. So let's see. Universe, give me one card for each question. Give me one card for each question. Universe, how will work be for Aries? For October 2021, universe, how will work be for Aries? Okay. Interesting combination. So you got the four of wands, seven of swords. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are planning your great escape. Um, you're planning your great escape. So if you guys have business partners, I feel like some of you guys are planning to like switch your business partners. Okay, or it probably is contractors. Let's just say you um, have people that's working on your business and you're hiring them. I feel like you're going to like fire them and get new contractors. Okay, um, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, how will Aries finances be in okay October? Oh, okay. So, a money that you have been waiting for a long time or for a minute, it's finally coming through, okay? So, I feel like your finances is, is going to be good, but it's going to be like, you've been waiting for it, but you was like kind of losing hope, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So, universe, what does Aries need to watch out for at work in October 2021? Temperance. And eight of cups i was kind of getting it from this two cards too so what you need to watch out for is you guys need to really pay attention to the details um be very meticulous okay because um i'm seeing if you rush stuff you probably gonna like miss something out um that might affect your work or might affect your business so i feel like what the universe is trying to say it's kind of to slow down um don't be impatient Really take your time, especially if it's re regarding contracts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, don't be impatient. You know, it, fire sign is very impulsive at times. So the universe wants you to like kind of like look, be, look above the impulsiveness, okay? Take your time with something. So let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, so what does Aries need to do at work to exceed... Universe, what does Aries, Aries need to do at work to exceed in October 2021? Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is about reconciliation. Um, this is innocent energy. Being ch like a, like kind of like a child. You know, children are very creative. So I feel like the universe wants you to be creative um, this month. That's definitely going to be helpful for you. Also, like, I feel like it's more, it could be like reconciling certain payments as well. Um, so again, checking back at things, looking at your bookkeeping, looking at different things uh, to see what you probably um, overlook um, and trying to fix that. So trying to fix something relating to the past. OK, and that's actually a perfect time because it's Mercury retrograde the whole month. So you see what else. Universe, how's the work environment going to be for Aries in October 2021? Five of Cups. I forgot another sign had this. I think Ar I'm an Aries. Leo had this. Okay. Um, so some of you guys have a Leo coworker. So with the five of cups as the environment, I feel like I see why you want to leave. <laughs> okay. The environment might not be your taste. Okay. Not your speed. Okay. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like you guys are going to leave. OK, you are going to leave. But at the same time, the universe wants you to take your time with something. So it could be like 
at the details, look at the details. It could be your business plan. It could be like your plan period. Like even if you work for a company or you're going to work for a new company, you know, really think it through. Okay. I feel like who, what, whatever business or whatever company you're going to leave, um, or whatever partners you're going to leave, they're going to feel really sad because of you doing this. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm saying. Now let's look at the oracles. Okay. Okay, universe, give me a five card spread. Okay. What messages do you have for Aries? Okay. Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. I mean, give me three more cards, actually. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, let's look at the first position. So there is, mark yourself like a brand, go out more and talk about your business to everyone. I definitely see that. I feel like you, that's what the Seven of Swords is about. I feel like you're trying to like leave one situation that was kind of like stationary. It was not moving the way that you're moving. And I feel like you're gonna be connecting with the other people. Business income increasing, okay. I definitely see that for you guys. Negative coworkers, I see that because the five of clubs was the environment. So I feel like even though they're gonna miss you, I feel like these are people that probably was not appreciating your work um, or was not having the same goals and visions that you had, okay? The same ambition. Then it is the more passion you have for something, the more money you can make. I definitely see you're very passionate at this moment. Um, and that's why I see you guys are planning to just do this great escape when it comes to work, okay? Um, the key to be successful is being persistent and consistent. So don't feed doubt, keep doing what is going to accomplish your goals, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. I feel like you guys are not really fearful at all. I feel like you're going for it, but I feel like the universe wants you to kind of think things through completely. Uh, make sure you complete your business plan or let's just say you're working for another company, make sure you really think it through, okay? Jenna energy is um do you actually did your part okay so if you guys have been struggling with whatever you want to accomplish when it comes to your work the universe wants you to um want you to know did you actually did everything that you can um so it can be fulfilled whatever you want okay so that's the reading that i have for you aries thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfortetarot at gmail.com